Hi folks, hope you're okay today. I just want to share with you about knowing God's will. If you read the book of Ruth, the first two chapters, <clears throat> you'll find that Naomi goes through a difficult time and her daughter-in-law backs her up and stays with her and it's still difficult because they were in a famine and it was it was very hard and uh, Naomi lost her husband and two sons who died. <clears throat> Yet as they go back to Bethlehem from Moab, uh, that's Naomi and Ruth, <coughs> excuse me, um, Ruth goes and works in the field, gleans in the field, gets the <coughs> food that's left on the edge of the field, the wheat that, or the chaff that, that people have just left, who, that they've collected, and she tries to do that, going to collect what it, the leftovers of the workers in the field. <coughs> that's the only way she, she and Naomi can survive. But as she does that, she meets Boaz, and Boaz helps her out. And little by little, God opens the doors for her. And if you wonder what is God's will for you today, God will open a door. He'll show you a way forward, and then you've got to go through that door. And he'll show you bit by bit what to do through that door. <coughs> so God opens and closes doors. So if you hit a brick wall and it just doesn't seem to be opening then maybe that's God telling you something and you don't have to engineer a situation God will bring things about so that it will be easy in a way to walk through that door I'm not saying it will be easy in the sense that you won't have any problems but it will be easy in the sense that <coughs> you won't struggle in knowing whether that's God's will or not because he'll open the door and he'll close the door and if you read the book of Ruth, you'll see this, this principle worked out in Naomi and Ruth's life. 